Hey, hey wizards. wizards! I'm Alex. And I'm Bella. And, and this, this is BGTV. Last week, the boys and girls soccer teams joined together to raise canned goods for our local food pantry. Fortunately, our very own Haley Leonard was able to capture this generosity for this week's first segment. Last Wednesday, I participated in the Country Kids Food Pantry soccer game. It was a great opportunity for all of us to get back and play one last game. It was really cool to be mixed with the girls and boys, and I thought that we all had a great time together. I want to give a big thank you to Mr. Cutney for organizing it and refing it. It made it a great time for everyone. I also want to give a big thank you to all the parents who donated extra cans so we could give it to the local food pantry. I hope that Washmill continues this and it becomes a little tradition that we do every year after the end of the season because it's a great way to spend your last game with everyone together. So we started the Football for Food Pantry game last year. It was just a random whim, and it was the idea of just doing a co-ed soccer game between the two varsity programs, the boys and the girls, and then having them kind of just bring as an admission or a donation for the local food pantry. Everyone that was involved last year, parents, players, friends of players, um, that was involved in it, loved it so much that we decided we had to do it again. So now it's definitely going to be a part of the program. Try to bring more awareness to it so we can raise more um, products and whatever we can for the local food pantry. The football for the food pantry match was a friendly match between the boys and girls soccer team. We combined and split up the teams, gave us a chance to play our final games together. The gold team beat the blue team 4-2. Unfortunately, we lost. Matt Stack played a big role in their victory. Despite our loss, it was a great game. It was a great way to cap off the season. Okay, ready? Good game. <laughs> Continuing with the theme of soccer, Jack Marley will bring us to the boys' soccer banquet that was held last Thursday on this week's installment of Sports with Jack. What's up Wizards? I'm your sportscaster Jack Mahoney and this is week three of Sports with Jack. This week we'll be looking at the boys varsity soccer team as they have their end of the year banquet and we'll be interviewing some of the players on their success this season. Uh, I think we had a great season. Even though we uh, ended off on a bad note, we still did really good. We went 13-2, and which is really good to um, compare to how we did last season. I couldn't have been more thankful at the opportunity that the coaches gave me to lead this team. These boys have been my heart and soul for the last two years. I couldn't ask for a better group of kids. Every time they'd show up to practice on time, we'd get the work done. And when it came time to game time, we would joke around on the bus before, but we would lock in right at, right at the right time. After the game, it'll be all jokes, but the boys would get the job done and always, always perform. What did you think of this season? I think we had a good season, you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, we ain't, we ain't a good semis, but I think like overall, we had fun. Um, we played our hard, and our hardest, you know. I think we did good, but it just, it just didn't go out the way, the way we were planned it, you know, but um, we did good as well. The, the feeling is indescribable. I love the hustle that I've given to the game, and I think, I think it was deserved. I tried to do everything I could this season for the team and bring us as far as we could. I'm really grateful to win the most improved player this year. You know, I almost didn't get moved up, because I only got moved up in the last tryout, and I'm really grateful to play with these seniors. The one piece of advice I can give to the underclassmen is treat every game like your last. Every play you're going to, treat it like it's the last time you're gonna touch a ball. What are you going to miss about this year's team? I'm really going to miss the seniors this year. You know, I've been playing with a lot of these guys for like eight plus years, like on club. So it's going to be really sad. Like this being the last season I'm going to play with them. So 
it's gonna be a really tough loss, like losing them. I'm really gonna miss um, the squad that we had in overall. We had a really good squad. It uh, could possibly be the best team that I had my uh, whole high school. Looking forward to bring the section like title back, like because like we lost it this year and we had like a really good chance of winning it, and we uh, had an upset kind of in the semifinals. So I'm looking forward to bring it back. I think it was good, you know. The food was good, you know. Like I, I like the food. I think, I think it was like a good time to enjoy yourself, you know, you know, have fun. So, I'm gonna miss everybody here, but the food is good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of PG TV. And now let's take a quick commercial break. Stop by at the high school for the turkey trot on November 24th. Registration start. Looking for a job? Be sure to check the job board in the high school guidance office for some opportunities to explore. Are you looking for your working papers? Please visit the high school website under the guidance tab. There is a link on the left hand side for working papers. Please print and complete both the application form and the physical form that are in yellow. You must have an upstate physical on file and you can bring this form to the nurse's office to be filled out. Once both forms are complete, please stop by the guidance office so we can issue you your working papers. Starting today, Friday, November 18th, the Breakfast Bistro is back. They will be serving their classic bistro menu. They will be in room 162 during first and second period. Do you want an opportunity to win a Breakfast Bistro gift card while feeding those in need? If so, all you need to do is bring in one or more non-perishable food items for the Community Service Club's food drive. Collection boxes are in the front hall, main office, room 231, and room 324. All those who put their names on their donations will be entered into the giveaway of Bistro gift cards. There will be 10 winners, and the event will end on November 18th. We hope to see your generosity, Wizards. Did you know that about 20% of students experience bullying nationwide? Yeah, and 41% of those students who reported being bullied at school live in fear they'll be bullied again. That's why it's so important to prevent bullying from happening within our school district. Yo, what's going on, Wizard Nation? I get the pleasure to speak to some students over here at Taft Elementary about their anti-bullying week. Let's see what they have to say. My name is Julia Tanila, and it's Hannah, Isabel Outley, Patrick, Gabriella. So, have you ever been bullied? And if so, what did you do about it? I haven't been bullied before. Um, no, I've never been bullied. No. Yes. I've been bullied a couple of times, and I asked for help to um, for people to help me, so I didn't um, have to deal with it again. And what did you do about this bullying? I asked them, can you please stop and please don't do it again. And what is your message to all the bullies out there? Just don't keep bullying and spread kindness. Treat others as I like. I guess spread kindness. Please don't do um, bad things to everyone. Um, don't bully anybody because it's not nice and you could really hurt someone's feelings. Um, my message is you're not helping anybody, you're just making them feel bad. And it's not nice to do that. Uh, don't bully, it's mean, and it can really hurt some feelings. Well, thank you to Taft for not only having me today, but teaching me a lot about their anti-bullying week. Back to you guys. Washington is home to so many amazing athletes. One such athlete is Jason Ariano, a junior who managed to qualify for states. Jake had the opportunity to sit down with Jason to find out how he was able to accomplish such a tremendous goal. Wizards, it's me, Jake, and recently I went up to states in Syracuse to see Jason Ariano run. Here's how he did. So how long have you been running for? I've been running since 7th grade, so about 4 years. When you first started running, did you ever think you would make it to a state level? When I first started running, I did not think that, but uh, now that I'm here, it feels great. Jason Run, how has that inspired you to keep running? Uh, he's really inspired me because he's uh, worked really hard over the summer. He's gotten really, like, a lot better. Um, and I just want to kind of get to where he is next year because if we want to make states, we really all have to work as a team. And yeah. 
How has Jason's recent run at States inspired you as a fellow athlete? Um, I think it really taught me to try harder, especially during my season. Uh, even though uh, this was cross country, I think for track athletes, he really tried to um, do his best and that makes me want to do my best. Congratulations to Jason Ariano on his recent States run. Keep up the good work, Jason. On three, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? One, two, three, mashed potatoes! Did we just become best friends? Obviously. Well, let's find out what the students at Little Britain love about the Thanksgiving tradition. Hey, Wizards, this is Avery, and this is Kane on the Street. Today, we're at Little Britain, and we're going to go around asking students about Thanksgiving and some of their opinions. Let's go. When I say Thanksgiving, what do you first think about? Um, turkey. Um, turkey. Turkey? Turkeys. Turkey. Turkey. What does Thanksgiving mean to you? It means usually like like you're thankful for stuff. And I'm really thankful for like the bug and stuff. To be thankful. Happiness and joyful and food. And food? Yeah. If mom and dad weren't looking, what dessert would you steal off the table before anyone could get to it? Um, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> A pumpkin pie? What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Uh, I am I am I am thankful for um what what my family has done for me these past two years. My best friend. Um, my family. All right, parents, this one's for you. Let's see how many of your kids are gonna help you cook turkey this year. How long do you think it takes to cook a Thanksgiving turkey? Um, uh, what hour? Two hours. One hour. Probably two hours. Really big one, then that would take two hours. I would say like 20 minutes. Um, two hours? Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next week, Wizards. I'm Alex. And I'm Bella. And this is BGTV. Today we're at Little Britain and we're going to at Little Britain. Blue. Oh, say does that star spangled bear. So let me, let me think real quick before I say anything. You're supposed to think before you transmit in the firehouse. I should be good at this. We want to give a big thank you to Mr. Cutney for organizing it and refing it, and he was a great guy. Wait, I don't like that part. <laughs> he was a great guy. <laughs> Joe, BGTV, farmer. What would you say? Why are you being shy? <laughs> Did you not know these weirdos? That's no, right. they're nice. They're friends with Hannah, okay? Oh, I love Hannah. Hannah's, Hannah's one of my best friends. <laughs> my name is Eric, and today... Odd opinion. Hey, which I am Alex and I'm Brian and this is BG33. What do you want to do? They take care of us. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, we have wait 20 minutes. Wait, wait, there's no door. No, no. And then <laughs> skinwalker. <laughs> I am the skinwalker. Oh. <laughs> Bella. Be sure to check the job board in the high school guidance office for some opportunity to. <laughs>